Jacques Lefebvre de Taple, Quinquplex Salterium, Episode 5. Said Haik Sententia Cusai, Ipso primo intuitu mihi visa est, non modo extranea, sed et stupenda et horrenda, et incipio solicitius cogitare. Stapulensis continues saying, but this is the opinion or the position of Cusa. So the subject is sententia, feminine, singular, and nominative, modified by hike in the same gender, number, and case, and we have to understand or supply the verb est, it's implicit. But this is Cusa's opinion. Ipso primo intuitu, at first glance, or at the very first intuition, this is masculine, singular, and ablative, ablative of attendant circumstance, perhaps. Intuitu is a fourth declension noun, intuitus, like so, and then the genitive is intuitus, and the gender is masculine. Its derivation is in and tuior, to look at, to gaze upon. So at very first glance, at my first intuition, intuition, mihi visa est, it seemed to me, namely this sententia, that's why visa is feminine, singular, and nominative, because it agrees with sententia, it seemed to me, this position seemed to me non modo, not only extranea, somewhat pointless or um, beside the point, but also it was stupenda, shocking, and it was very discomforting. It didn't fit with my understanding whatsoever. So we have these three adjectives, extranea, stupenda, et horrenda, which are feminine, singular, and nominative. You notice I was trying to avoid saying extraneous, stupendous, horrendous, because I don't think that derivatives are often accurate in representing what the Latin word means. And because this was the case, because I thought Cusa's opinion, the sententia Cusa, it seemed to me extranea, stupenda, et horrenda, both shocking and hair-raising. For that reason, I also began, et incipio, to think about it, to meditate on it, salicitius. Salicitius is a comparative adverb. It's a comparative adverb. So I began to think about it or ponder it with rather more anxiety or a little more anxiously. We see how simple a sentence this is, et incipio salicitius cogitare, as opposed to the somewhat more complicated sentence. A good Latin stylist, and Estapulensis is certainly a good Latin stylist, is able to vary sentence length and complexity at will. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the lesson, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment.